What's up guys, so today we are at Petland and I found something here that I don't think I ever thought I would find which is the white tree frog or the dumpy tree frog right here. I got a pair of them, a male and female and of course I had to get a brand new setup. This is the bamboo forest setup by Exoterra. It is 18 by 18 by 24 and I got it on a little bit of a discount. These two little frogs are right here. They are adorable. I never thought I'd be able to find them in BC but thankfully a small little trip to the pet store with my girlfriend and uh, I got pretty lucky finding one of my dream frogs. Here we are uh, unpacking the entire thing. It was pretty hefty and pretty big and I decided to put it right next to my bed because I want to be able to hear the male croaking or at least to catch it in action which um, I actually heard him chirping while I was in the pet store. Here is the Exoterra setup. It's pretty slick looking. It comes with quite a few things already inside of it which includes a thermometer as well as a hydrometer here. So here they are in their little individual packages. They kind of suck so I'm probably going to get some new ones uh, afterwards. There's also some Eco Earth or plantation soil is basically just like coconut husk as well as a light fixture it has a dual light fixture so I'll be putting in a heat bulb as well as a light bulb uh, there's a bunch of decor as well this is some kind of a bamboo thing which is pretty interesting it has like little holes at the top to maybe hold water yeah so we're gonna be cleaning up the background which I found has sort of a green residue which it leaves behind so I decided to rinse um, everything thoroughly it, which includes the background and the hides um, and everything else that is going to be inside the tank. Here's me taking it out which was actually very very easy. It's just a bunch of styrofoam painted over. Here's me and my girlfriend just cleaning it all up, rinsing everything and making sure that there is nothing left behind that could get into the little frog's skin. There's the bamboo hide as well as a bunch of leaves and a few other things uh, which we're washing inside of a bucket in the washroom. The light fixture, I put an LED light, uh, a warm one, on one side as well as a nighttime heat bulb which uh, it kind of has a bit of a light at night which is kind of annoying when I'm trying to sleep so I'm probably going to change that with a heat pad or something. Here is uh, the Eco Earth which we are going to carefully unravel and then soak with a bunch of warm water. Uh, I use warm water to quicken up the process of the brick sort of hydrating itself back into the soil that it once was. It may take a little while for me, it took like an hour or two to just wait and keep flipping. In hindsight, I should have used a larger bucket, but uh, that'll do for now. Then I'm going to rinse the tank down just with dechlorinated water, wipe it all down, and by me, I mean um, my lovely girlfriend here, um, who is also a big fan of frogs. Putting the background back into the setup was very easy. It is now cleaned and won't leave behind any weird residue which my frogs might get into. The lid of the Exoterra tank actually has this really cool feature which can cover up the holes for cables and whatnot. So whatever cables that you do or do not have, there's a little switch that will cover or not cover it up. The soil is now completely hydrated or the eco earth or whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to spread around evenly throughout the tank all throughout the bottom. I also added some sand for aeration. I do plan on adding some live plants into the, the tank itself and hopefully the sand will allow the roots to have a lot more air and won't develop fungus as easily. Now that everything is all padded down we're going to add all the decoration pieces and by all of it i mean every single one but one which uh found to be a little too ugly to add to the setup or just generally kind of pointless uh, the bamboo fixture is on the left and then the right is this other rock cave thing which is i think by exoterra but i had it from a previous setup the other small rock i decided to just not use it in the setup and now we're going to add in a bunch of fake leaves and vines and whatnot to cover up uh, some of the side areas and sort of just make it look a little nicer. It's still a little bit bland and a little bit empty and I'm probably going to add a lot more to the setup over time. There are a few things on the way from Amazon. I got like an automatic mister as well as a water bowl. Uh, but for now, I got a few of these plants in which I'm just going to contemplate for a second on where to put them before deciding to just put it in the most obvious spot that which it should be which is just on the sides. Then I have this fake fern, which I was gonna put at the bottom and uh, decided, nah. And now it's over at the top over there, kind of making the bamboo look like a weird tree. 
uh, the thermometer is here by exoterra and i'm going to just simply put it on the side of the tank on the left closer to the opening i'm also going to grab the hydrometer and pretty much just place it right next to it saw this weird double-sided tape which is a little funky and a little cheap in my opinion these thermometers and hydrometers i've heard to from some uh, that is not super accurate and i'm probably going to replace them over time you can see a funny little frog uh, i don't even know what it is on the bottom right a dish a bowl a, a seat um, but here it is little close-ups on uh, everything here the bamboo feature there's that frog cup bowl thing all the little vines over there on the right the light fixtures yeah overall this exoterra tank is freaking solid uh, i love its locking features it's aerated uh, front the top portion has a metal net or mesh and that cable hiding system is also quite nifty the base itself is slightly elevated and you can have the bottom portion of the tank to be completely aquatic uh, and the top to be well not, not so aquatic but the tank is awesome is my biggest current tank and so far i am loving it here comes the frogs that's nugget uh, he's the male he's gung-ho to get out of this uh, tiny little container in which he's been stuck in for far too long and the female is uh, somewhat close right behind him so there goes nugget very active hoppity little fellas these guys are juveniles so they're much smaller than their adult counterparts i think they're about two inches in size right now and they'll get up to four and a half to five uh, females getting slightly larger than the male there's the male nugget right there all the way at the top and the female's just chilling right behind her name is biscuit uh, she'll be hopping around very soon uh, it took her a little bit to start warming up to start moving about but here she is belly flopping outside of the container onto the ground uh, unlike nugget who hopped right onto the trees she's just gonna rest there check out the cave ultimately decide not to go in the cave and begin to climb up like most tree frogs like to do which is climb they're very arboreal so having a taller setup is very important versus having one that is much wider they love to climb you can already see that's pretty much immediately what they are doing there she is kind of hidden getting past uh, the leaf that is now on her right eyeball the tank is pretty much finished i would say i'm gonna still be adding uh, some more to it i believe i said that before there's some stuff coming from amazon such as a mister i'm probably going to replace the heat bulb with a heat mat on the side of the tank to provide the warmth or basking slash dry area for these frogs they actually do require somewhat of a period in the day to dry out a little bit due to their skin potentially developing funguses they don't want to be super moist all the time maybe like some other frogs but here's some close-ups these guys are very beautiful right now they are a slight shade of brown and a hint of green but um after a little bit of time in their setup they turned a very bright green which um, i think is a good thing but yeah here's the tank itself we're just gonna do a few more close-ups for you guys the setup is now almost complete excluding the water bowl which is coming uh, like in a few hours after i'm recording this and editing it but yeah this was a pleasure to put together having these frogs especially my dream frogs has been something that's been on my mind forever so it's super exciting to have a pair uh, for myself to care and raise to their adulthood yeah here's me just misting down the tank uh, if you guys got any questions on anything just shoot it down below in the comments uh, i'm not exactly an expert on taking care of these guys since i just got them but i'll be happy to answer anything you guys send me uh, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace